What is going on, guys? Today we're taking a look at the Jurassic World Epic Evolution um, Eel Raptor versus Stegoros Danger Pack. This is something new they're doing this year, where you've they've got two of these packs, as far as we know, where it's a Danger Pack assortment, so it's packed with the other Danger Pack figures at seven to eight dollar price point. But instead of getting one kind of smaller dinosaur, you're getting two really small dinosaurs, which I think is pretty neat. And it's a good way to get some of these smaller species into the toy line. The first of the smaller species they ever did was uh, Baby Beta. And this Eoraptor takes heavy inspiration from that Baby Beta figure. And then the Stegoros is pretty original. And they're both very tiny and very neat, which is cool. This is Epic Evolution, brand new for 2024. I've been sitting on this set, I think, since December. I found it pretty early. I just haven't gotten around to it. Taking a look at the box, though, you got the Jurassic World logo, Jurassic World, Mattel 4 Plus, Danger Pack, Eel Raptor versus Stegoros, and it's part of the mangrove or swamp biome, who knows, and it's on this weird card back. I don't get why they do this bubble blister, I mean, I know why they do it, it's so the holds the figure in, but they could really just, you know, zip tie these to the cardboard, that's basically how they are anyway. On the back of the box, we've got the rest of the assortment, being the Plesiosaurus, which I've not picked up because I already have a Plesiosaurus. you got Eoraptor and Stegoros together. You've got Papasaurus, which I do have, I just have not reviewed. And then Avaceratops, who I do have a review of. And there is more of this assortment later on in the year, and we are getting another one of these two packs consisting of Guan Long and the Lystrosaurus. These two are pretty neat, and it should be pretty easy to snap them out of the packaging really quickly. And here is the two figures out of the box, and these things are very tiny. I don't know if you can tell, but they are small. And they actually both look pretty decent at such the small scale. I will say the Stegorodos does look a little better in my opinion. The Eoraptor looks very much like a toy. It doesn't look like a real dinosaur. It's only got the two colors and other than the eye and it just looks a little bland. Stegorodos is a little more well blended and looks like a real living creature. This is a little bizarre for me. We'll start with Eoraptor though. Eoraptor is one of the earliest known dinosaurs, being from the Triassic period, and its name means Dawn Thief because of how early it was. And it's got all of your regular articulation, I think, that one of these figures should have. Let's figure that out. So the jaw will open and close. It does look much better with the jaw closed. But opened, it does not look bad. The teeth are individually sculpted, but not individually painted. It's not those rubber teeth that they're doing on some of the medium figures. They're still painted, so they are probably prone to chipping. The eye is painted yellow, but the pupil is left red, which looks kind of bad on this figure. The head does not have any articulation. Okay, so they did cut the head articulation. It's such a small figure that's not gonna kill it for me. You've got articulated arms and they're very tiny, but you can move them up and down. And I believe it's got an accurate amount of fingers too, which is nice, Mattel pays attention. The legs will move back and forth and the tail will swivel. And surprisingly, this does have a scan code in the back lift it up and you can scan it into Jurassic World facts. Um, not bad. This is not a bad little guy. He's not the best in the world. He's not the worst in the world either. Um, let's look at Stegorus real quick. Stegorus is a species of ankylosaurid from the late Cretaceous period and its name means like roofed something, I can't remember. This one I think looks a lot better, but this it's a very awkward looking uh, figure. I think that's just more the dinosaur than the figure.
but um, this head is not articulated, neither is the jaw, but the beak is painted. And we do have a nice orange eye, no painted pupil, but it does look better than the bright red on the Eoraptor. You got a little bit of green that runs through the body. All of the legs are independently articulated, which is nice. And the tail does have a swivel and it's got painted club, Dagomizers, I think it's a club. And then it does have a scan code right there. And the armoring does not look bad. Obviously they're meant to fight each other. Um, I think Stegurus would win and that's my overall rating. I'm gonna go ahead and say these guys are a pretty okay set. They're very small. Let me go and grab a human figure for comparison. Here they are with JP3 Alan Grant and they both really just come up to like his knee or his torso. Eoraptor is a bit taller, but um, Stegorus is very low profile next to Grant and he he's, you know, scaled properly. So yeah, these two are both very tiny and very small. I do like both of them. They're definitely gonna be fun on the shelf because they're so small. You can just kind of stick them somewhere. Uh, as far as score, I'm gonna give the Eoraptor a six out of 10. Uh, not, just not a fan of the paint. The sculpt's fine, but the, the paint scheme is pretty rough on this one. Stegorus, I'm gonna give a uh, seven and a half out of 10. And that gives us an average of yeah, that gives us that as an average. Yeah, I can recommend this as a pickup, especially if you want some smaller dinosaurs. Um, I'm a little more excited for the other pack coming, the Guanlong versus Lystrosaurus. Guanlong is one of my favorite dinosaurs, so I'm excited to get those. Overall though, I recommend picking this setup out of all of the figures in this assortment. I'd say they're all worth grabbing except that Plesiosaurus, just because we've gotten a couple of those before. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.